we've got season 10 upon us with the heel spirit. Mmm, it's an orange juice. Before we talk about the tech of heel, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend. I do want to thank everyone that uses code OJ, especially with the season pass around the corner. We get a small kickback from your purchases when you use code OJ. It supports the channel and helps everything behind the scenes run smoothly. Literally. The code does expire every seven days, so if you enter in the code right now, it'll ensure that it does not expire for the next seven days if you do get the season pass. The heal spirit is almost identical to the ice spirit with almost no interaction changes in terms of damage and health. Both the Heal Spirit and the Ice Spirit have a small splash radius that both deal 91 damage of splash. The difference is that the Heal Spirit has one more health than the Ice Spirit. Is there a reason for this? I mean, sometimes I just think there's like a Goblin Troll on the Clash Royale team to trigger us. The real reason why Heal Spirit has one health more than the Ice Spirit is because it's a rare card and that's due to a rounding error. And because of this rounding error, the Ice Spirit has 278 health the heal spirit has 279 health. This is at max stats, obviously. And Tesla deals 278. That is an interaction difference. Oh gosh, Shupasal, this needs to be fixed. Literally unplayable for Expo players. Just like the Ice Spirit, the Heal Spirit does connect to an equal level Princess Tower and deals 91 damage. This is easy chip damage for one elixir. However, if you're facing a Princess Tower one level above your Heal Spirit, the Spirit will not connect and you will not cast a Heal spell. The Log and Arrows are two spells powerful enough to stop a Heal Spirit or an Ice Spirit. Are these spells worth it? In a big push, it kind of does make sense, especially if the Heal Spirit is behind the Roll Hogs or a Golem. Heal spell was traditionally used as an offensive card as you usually want to heal your cards in the heat of battle. This is still true for the heal spirit rework. It's great offensively on your opponent's side of the arena. It just pairs so, so well with the roll hogs. If they play minion horde to counter your piglets, your heal spirit jumps on the horde, heals the hogs, and damages the horde. That's like a thousand damage reversed on the piglets for one elixir. And now it's splashed onto the minion horde. You just have to zap or snowball the horde and it just takes them out. You can even use the heal spirit like you do with the ice spirit. Play the heal spirit at the bridge, then cast goblin barrel. It'll tank the princess tower and then heal your goblins. Use your orange senses though. In the real world, nothing is perfect. So if they have the log or any hard counters that you know they have in rotation, this is going to be a negative elixir trade. If you use the heal spirit to tank for the miner, it'll absorb two hits, but that doesn't really heal him because he's already at full health. If you use the Miner first, then plant the Heal Spirit after, it'll heal the Miner, but both interactions deal 651 damage to the tower. So which one is better? The second scenario is better because the Miner is almost never ignored. If Goblins or anything are used to counter the Miner, the Heal Spirit tanks the Miner, then it heals it. Just like the Ice Spirit, sometimes you need to cycle your cards and you need to defend two waves of Fire Spirits from the Furnace. Wait until your tower tanks one Fire Spirit, then use your Heal Spirit to absorb one Fire Spirit and it'll go on to defend the second wave of Fire Spirits. It is great against Minion Horde. It helps take down the Horde's low enough for units like a Musketeer to one-shot minions. Yeah, you miss out on the heal in this one specific interaction, but again, it is a one elixir card. That's not everything needs 100% power utilization. A refresher course on complementary cards will be Zap, Snowball, Electro Dragon. These all deal 159 damage. One heal spirit plus one Zap or Snowball or one Electro Dragon's Chain Lightning is enough to take out goblins, minions, and the guard shields, including the Dark Prince shield. Loggable units like Princess, Rascal Girls, and Dark Goblin will destroy the heal spirits in two shots. But if your heal spirit does land on any loggies, they will be within zap range. Ice Spirit and Heal Spirit both take out naked guards, but I can't possibly imagine a scenario where this needs to be done. Unless they're already locked onto your tower and a miner is tanking for the naked skeleton guards. Although on paper, heal spirit plus zap or snowball does not take out archers and that they will survive with 1% health, this doesn't mean that heal spirits are bad against these cards. Archers do not two-shot the heal spirit, meaning that you can use this against archers before they lock onto your tower. Heck, it'll even counter two archers split separately. It may not land on any archers, but it will tank three shots for your tower. It can absorb one shot from the bandit and then jump on the bandit and release its heal spell. 
It cannot survive a bandit dash. You'll typically want to avoid using the heal spirit at long range as the dash will just kill the heal spirit and the heal spell will not release. This heal spirit has an infinite amount of possibilities and the list of synergies goes on and on and on. But to give y'all a baseline of the interactions, it can survive one hit from a knight, one stabby gobby gob, one barbarian, giant skeleton, Musketeer, Baby Dragon, Dark Goblin, Flying Machine, Princess, Magic Archer, and the Electro Dragon. Some other notable interactions is that it dies in three hits from Archers, Witches, Bats, Skeletons, Spear Goblins, and the Ice Wizard. There's just so many possibilities with Heal Spirit, but I think it just works so well with the Royal Hogs just because of the heal capabilities times four. This just heals way more than the original heal spell does. Let's try it on ladder. I, mm, I might not have pushed this account in a while, so I'm gonna... Oh shoot, I'm facing level eight. Oh wow. Okay, maybe this is not a good example. We'll, 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 we'll end this pain really quickly. If it makes anyone feel better. My magic archer is only level 10. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to do a mini pack of that. I don't, I don't want no funny biz. Level seven baby dragon, holy heck. Oh, should I heal spirit? I could have heal spirit that. I'm not used to it. It's such a foreign card. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm gonna put it behind and I'm gonna do the piglets. It's such a good cycle card. Ah, oh, that's scar me. Activated my heal spirit a little too early. But end this game really quickly. I'm gonna earthquake that. It's over. Should be over. Stop resisting. You're level eight. I'm level 12. I'm sorry. Okay, so maybe ladder's not a good example there. Not not in this account. Uh. -uh. Yeah. I guess level seven heal spirit on a level 10 account. Let's try this. This. Account I've never pushed to 4,000 yet. Level seven? I've never pushed this account yet. I could probably push this account to 5,000. This is weird. Again? You saw it here first. The heal spirit is powerful. <laughs> Let's go right in. Heal the barbarians. That's what we need. Lumberjack Rex. I'm a magic archer. Stop resisting. You're gonna lose. <laughs> I don't really need to use anything. I'm just gonna let that rock. Balloon does not connect to my barbarian hut. Feels bad. What? The ice spear died to the electro wizard? Alright, well. Man, I just want to cycle to my ice spear. That's all I really want to do. Level 7 piglets connect with the heal spirit. I'm trying to show some heal spirit interactions here. Well, let's wait for the musketeer to kind of crash on. Didn't even wait. Alright, well, he does have a balloon. So, we'll do a barbarian hut there. Just want to say call to my piglet so I can do the heal spirit wambo combo. I don't think Elixir or the Ice Golem is going to do too much. But this Barb Hut is money. I almost just want to do Roll Hogs right off the bat. Then we'll do a Heal Spirit a little bit. Uh... Oh! The Heal Spirit could have died, but it didn't. Okay, it only healed one Piglet there. Okay, let's Earthquake that Musketeer. This is a weird game. I tried to get on Ladder, and I'm still over-leveled. First world problems. I just haven't pushed on this account, okay? Ah, oh, dang it. Pro tip, on the third tile, all four piglets will go towards the tower. Man, I'm good. We, we healed one piglet. Got that going for us. You know, so I mean, I'm not dominating too hard. Put the electro wizard on the left side. Uh, should I roll delivery that? Yeah, all right. What was we I tank for the magic archer. These are terrible battles. I love taking candies from babies, but this is this is just brutal.
Okay, let's try our mini, mini, mini account. You know what? Forget this, forget that. I don't care. Even my mini, mini, mini account is too underleveled. I don't have time to push it to 4,000. We're just gonna make a 2.5 deck, a fast spirit cycle. One elixir, one elixir, one elixir card. We're gonna destroy our opponents, okay? I'm done with being Mr. Nice Guy. Level eight. Oh, you are in for a world of pain. Do the skeletons there. Cycle to my, where's my heal spirit? I want my heal spirit up. My heal spirit's coming! It, it literally did not heal anything except the Dark Goblin one. That was the worst value ever. This deck is still working this one. <laughs> I'll take it. When Skeletons stops your Goblin Barrel, we flex our limited emotes. This is truly the free-to-play account. Don't quote me on that. This account has been touched in a long time. I completely forgot it even existed. But we're gonna do the heal spirit. He will have... Ooh, that heal! Take all that Valkyrie. We don't need no none of your shenanigans. I used the log prematurely, so I gotta use the earthquake. Take out the tower, take out the Valkyrie and the skeletons. Does this deck really work? 2.5 deck pro. We'll have to find out. Don't do it. I'm absurdly low on all of these accounts. Alright, so, we do the Ice Spirit there. Maybe a little Happy Heal Spirit. Did it deal a little bit of damage to it? Did it heal my Magic Archer? No, it didn't. Was it good for defense? Kind of. Yeah. I'm gonna ignore that Valkyrie. He can do a Gobby Barrel if he wants to. I'm, I'm gonna cycle to my Heal Spirit right off the bat if I can- if I'm not lagging! Oh my gosh. The spirits, they went everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna do a magic archer in the back. I'm gonna ignore that completely. I am not threatened by that goblin barrel. Not with the way things are going right now. Oh, beautiful. We do some heal spirit. Put some skeletons. I don't even, I'm not even gonna log that. I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response. I'm gonna go for more piglets. We piglet cycle. Two dark gobbies? Heck yeah. Let's start healing stuff. More dark gobbies, split that up. Maybe I'll, oh my gosh. A dark gobbly, dark gobby didn't get healed. Heal spirit needs to be buffed. Not strong enough. This 2.5 hog piglet work. You saw it here first, it does. That's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to do some real games, let's be real. I don't wanna push my main account, some of you guys know why, some of you, if you know why, please don't comment, it's a surprise for the future. But yeah, I have played ladder on all my mini, on every single one of my accounts with a heal spirit and it is completely dominated, you saw it here first, it's very strong, especially on my main account. I can't tell you why yet, but it, it, it really is. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope the tech video was helpful because it's going to be good for the heal spirit. It's going to apply for everything for the ice spirit and more. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And thank you everyone for using code OJ. Until next time, stay tuned for more quality OJ.